What's up, everybody? Karma Cashflow here. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, now, for those that don't know, I am actually doing this live stream every single day for the entire month of August, uh, which is actually coming to a close here uh, very, very soon on Monday. Uh, but I've enjoyed this so much. I've learned so much uh, from it. But uh, for those of you uh, watching, like, you know, I, I, I really would love for you to uh, share these live streams with people that you know to you know help get a lot more uh, audience members on here. That would be you know really exciting for me. Uh, but today we're talking about something that has been on my mind for quite some time, uh, and it's uh, talking about the dark side of internet business. You know, building an online business, passive income online courses, memberships, like all the all the the dark side of all of it. Um, and it's something that a lot of people, most people actually don't even speak about uh, or they try to hide it or simply don't want to talk about it. But I thought I would talk about, you know, a couple of the key points um, on building an online business that, you know, we could consider the, the dark side. Um, so that's what we're talking about today. So let's get to it. All right, so let's get to it. Um, real quick, uh, if you do want to ask uh, any questions about either what we're talking about or uh, anything, really, uh, go ahead, throw that in the chat below or on the side, wherever it is uh, for you, uh, with the word question all in caps first. That way I can see it easier. Uh, let me real quick uh, welcome some uh, people in. Of course, we got Consult the Blind Guy. Thank you for being here, my friend. Uh, we got Vlada in the house. How's it going, Vlada? Thank you for being here. Uh, Ravens Video 1 and MMM Tutorials as well. Welcome, welcome. Uh, and, of course, we've got my good friend Rhino Dog 34 in the house. And, and uh, Salima. Also, uh, Salima's in the house. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got Jen Games and Aaron Waller as well. Welcome, guys. Really, really appreciate you all being here. Um, so... Real quick, um, you know, usually I go through announcements. Uh, there's really no announcements besides the fact that uh, if you want to be on my beta group, in my beta group for my course and my membership, then um, what you need to do is you need to go over to my uh, community. It's a free community that you can join, and uh, you can get there by going to thecashflowarmy.com and, you know, just register and then send me a private message telling me that you want to be in the beta group, right? I have a full list of names uh, for people that want to be in the beta group. I'm only accepting nine spots, all right? So those nine spots, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a winner by going to uh, a website called Wheel of Names. Let me go ahead and th uh, throw that up here real quick. Um, that way you all can see it. Let's see. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh, screen share. All right, so this is how it's going to work. Uh, apparently, I'm not screen sharing. There we go. All right, so this is how it's going to work. I'm going to actually put in all the names here. These are just kind of dummy names. or They're not real, right? And then I'm going to click here, and it's going to spin that wheel. And whoever's name it lands on, it's going to pop up that they won. And so forth. see, we have a winner. Woohoo! Right, it's gonna do all this uh, cool fancy stuff, um, and we're gonna pick nine people that way. And those nine people, oh, let me go back to my main screen. There we go. Um, those nine people are going to get access to number one, my course, uh, which uh, I'm gonna talk about later on. Um, hey, Martin's in the house. How's it going, Martin? Thanks for being thanks for being here, my friend. Um, We'll get access to the course. They will also get access to my membership. And inside the membership, you will have access to uh, weekly uh, office office hours or Q&A sessions um, that uh, we can answer any question that you have. We're going to go through uh, hot seats every single month um, where we actually put you in a hot seat and break down your business uh, to make sure that everything is running smoothly. You get up and running quickly. Uh, and so forth and, and deal with any challenges and problems you may have. Um, we're also going to be uh, dealing with um, 
uh, a 40, you're, you're also going to get a 45 minute strategy session uh, with me personally as well. Uh, so I can deal with you directly uh, and maybe cover some things that you don't want anybody else uh, talking with and so much more. Right. Uh, the beta group is going to be awesome. It is absolutely free. There's zero charge for it. Um, and, you know, at the end of the beta test, you'll one be able to keep the uh the course absolutely free um you know don't have to pay for that and then if you want to continue in the membership uh past the beta test then we're going to offer that uh to you at a massively massively significant discount um so uh just you know wanted to uh to throw that out there um martin saying uh oh well karma uh learning in between shouts (laughs) i love this thread uh thanks man I, i really appreciate you being here just Trying to drop some uh, some knowledge here. Um, <laughs> dropping in from the back of my ambulance. Wow, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I love what you do, by the way. Um, all right. So uh, li- this little section is what, what I call, you know, what I worked on yesterday. Uh, and this section is meant to just give you an idea of what I do, all right, on an everyday basis. I don't actually end up doing a ton of different things, all right? I try to focus on just a couple of things versus, you know, spending my time split, you know, 10 different ways. So yesterday, uh, I worked primarily on just a couple of things. Uh, first, I created a new multi-page pre-sale site uh, for my Carmen Cashflow uh, business. And this was an outline, all right? So I didn't fully write the multi-page pre-sale site. What I did was I first tried to come up with an idea for that multi-page pre-sale site, where it's going, and then come up with uh, multiple entries to that uh, multi-page pre-sale site, all the different angles uh, that I want to come at it from. Uh, I want to outline uh, all the different uh, ideas that I wanted to present in those pages. And right now the pages are set to be uh, seven different pages, right? And in the seven different pages, I'm going to be reframing uh, ideas, uh, you know, reshaping beliefs, uh, I'm going to, of course, educate uh, on a certain topic. And then, of course, the end of it, the, the very last page, the seventh page, uh, is meant as just a conclusion for all of that stuff, as well as invite someone to join my email list uh, for more information. Uh, so I worked on that, just outlining the whole thing, uh, but I didn't actually write the content yet. Uh, that's going to be next week, I believe. What is my, my day? Um, got to find out my writing day. Uh, I believe it's next Wednesday. Um, yes. So next Wednesday, uh, I will actually write, uh, all of that out. Uh, and then besides that, besides writing all that stuff, um, I outlined some new sections for my pipeline or what you would call a funnel. Uh, and this is back end funnel. So this is how, you know, after the welcome campaign, uh, when someone joins my list, they go into a welcome campaign, which is a series of daily emails uh, that you know helps them get to know who I am. And then after that, they go into my daily email list, or you can call it a nurture sequence, but it's not really a nurture sequence, and, and I don't really like that term. Uh, I just call it my daily email list. Uh, and that daily email list, uh, I was outlining a few new key sections on where I'm going to place uh, certain product launch sequences, uh, where a product launch sequence is where someone clicks on a uh, link and they're tagged with an interest tag. So, you know, if that tag is for uh, building a, an online course, right? They have an interest in building an online course. So, what that does is it tags them in ConvertKit, ConvertKit is the software that I use, and then uh, it actually will drop them automatically into a product launch sequence, which talks about uh, affiliate marketing uh, and will send them you know, somewhere, uh, whether that be an affiliate uh, product, service, link, whatever, uh, or you know, may- maybe it's one of my courses or something like that. Uh, but I outlined a, a few different uh, you know, sections in my pipeline. Uh, and then besides that, I worked on uh, some client work. So I had a little bit of client work to do uh, yesterday. Uh, we, we've been having a little bit of difficulties with uh, some advertisements that we're working on. Um, and so, you know, just trying to, to figure all that out. Um, and uh, besides that, the only th- other thing that I did 
uh, is I retook a personality test. So I had taken a person. My wife actually took it yesterday uh, and sent me her stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. Uh, and I did it a few years ago. Um, and I you know, wanted to see what it would be like. So I, I went through it again uh, and retook this personality test. And it is through um, 16 personalities. I'll, I'll actually write that in here in the chat. All right, it's a link uh, to 16personalities.com. Uh, you know, I, 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 I believe that you should, you know, find out the type of, of personality you are. Uh, it's, it's absolutely free. Just go to, uh, to their website and up at the top right, there's a, you know, take this test uh, type button uh, and see what you are. Um, and uh, for those that, um, that want to know the type of personality I am, um, I am what they call an architect. Uh, I'm actually an INTJA, right? There's two different types of architects and there's lots of different uh, personality types, right? You have uh, different types of analysts, diplomats, uh, centennials, and then explorers. Uh, my wife is an entertainer explorer and I am an architect way up here. So completely opposite ends of the spectrum, uh, but you know, each, you know, understanding the, your personality really helps you, uh, in your business, in your life. You, you are able to, uh, focus a little bit more on your strengths because you understand yourself a little bit better. Um, and you know, I, th I thought it was really cool. Um, and you know, that's just uh, another thing that I did. Um, and that, that's what I did, uh, yesterday. And then of course we went to the pool and, you know, did, did personal stuff. Uh, but as far as business goes, uh, that was it. Uh, so let's get to uh, a little bit of the dark side of starting an online business, uh, creating you know any type of, of business really. Uh, number one is it can be really freaking lonely, right? We work as entrepreneurs generally by ourselves when we're just starting up. We don't have a team normally. Uh, everybody say hi to Jarvis. He's squawking away. Uh, we don't generally have a team. We are doing everything ourselves. We wear, you know, many, many hats. We are the marketer. We are the creator. You know, we, we do all of this stuff all by ourselves. And a lot of times it can be really, really lonely. And, you know, for that, I believe that we need to find a community of sorts. That way we can, you know, participate in chats that, you know, we can connect with other people and even get help from other people. Uh, you know, with uh, Pat Flint, he started his uh, daily uh, show called The Income Stream over on YouTube. And it became a community of people that could get together and talk. It even spawned a Slack channel, the quarantine Slack channel, where everybody could get together and talk and connect and so forth. And then... Uh, Pat created uh, his SPI Pro and so forth. And I even have my own uh, community called uh, the Cashflow Army where you can connect with other entrepreneurs building online uh, businesses. And that that's number one is that, you know, and it's something that a lot of people don't talk about. A lot of people don't like to talk about all of this stuff, but that to me that was number one is that it can really be freaking lonely. You know, I sit here all day, every day, generally by myself. And while, you know, I, I, I have a, a small, you know, team and, and people that I talk with, um, you know, generally I'm doing a lot of stuff without ever talking to anybody in the process. Um, and so, you know, it, it's something that, uh, that we're going to need to deal with at some point. Uh, number two is there's really no instruction manual on doing all of this stuff. You know, Yes, people have courses uh, and their their memberships and, and stuff, but there's no like this is how you do it type stuff. Generally speaking, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know where to start when you first start off. Generally, what you would do is you would go onto YouTube, like like you're here, and go through video after video of you know 10, 20 different people trying to kind of find an idea. And when you're just starting off, there's no you know instruction manual that says here. This is how you build a business. This is how you do exactly what you want to do, right? And a lot of us don't even know exactly what we want to do just yet, right? We have little ideas that we're playing with and toying with, but nothing where it's like, this is it, this is what I'm doing, and so forth. So because of that, we're going 
you know, reading all types of books. We're listening to different podcasts, audio books. We're, we're scrolling on, on YouTube. We're scrolling through different uh, groups over on Facebook uh, and Instagram, you know, j- just trying to find our way. Uh, and because of that, like, you know, a lot of times uh, people get lost. And I know that for me, I got lost uh, as well. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm no stranger to, to this. Um, I'm, you know, uh, just like everybody else. But, you know, looking back, I really, really wish that I had something that says, this is how you make money online. This is exactly what you need to do. And this is exactly how to do it, right? An instruction manual. Uh, but unfortunately, there was none at the time. I went through many different courses, many different ways of, of doing stuff. But even at that point of going through five to ten different courses and, and reading a whole lot of books, uh, listening to podcasts and all that stuff, I myself didn't even know really what I wanted to do. Uh, and yeah, so that that's number two. Uh, number three is uh, you may not know what analytics you should be watching in your business. And this is really detrimental. If you don't know what analytics you should be watching and and how to utilize that information in order to make business decisions, your business will not grow as fast as you want it to grow, right? Uh, take YouTube, for instance, right? When I started uh, my YouTube channel, I had no idea what I should be watching. There were some people that says watch, you know, things like subscriber count. And then there was people that said, no, forget subscriber count, watch, you know, uh, watch time and this and that. Um, and I really had to figure out what were the best things to, to look out for. And then, you know, track that stuff every single day. And a lot of people don't even know that they should be tracking and analyzing stuff in their business. You know, if you have a blog, you need to track how many people are actually visiting your blog. Um, You know, how many unique visitors are coming in? How many total visitors are coming in? You know, what are they doing once they get to your blog? You know, are they coming in and bouncing right away? Are they going, you know, only halfway down your page? Uh, and then, you know, jumping off somewhere else, you know, what it is that they're doing. And you need to know for whatever it is you are doing, whether it be a blog, whether it be, uh, you know, you're just creating courses uh, and you don't, you know, even have any social profiles uh, or you're doing a YouTube channel or promoting stuff over on TikTok, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing, you need to be able to look at your business from an analytical point of view, look at the analytics, look at exactly what you need to know to uh, make business decisions based off of that data. There's nothing that I do in my business that I, I'm not looking at numbers somewhere, right, to make my decisions for me. That's what you have to do in business. It can't just be, well, I, you know, I want to create this today. You know, oh, I want to do this today. No, that 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 may be okay right at the beginning. Uh, when you're just getting started, but you need to understand your audience. You need to understand the analytics so that you can see what the audience wants. Like my YouTube channel, right? I created a whole ton of videos, you know, pre-recorded videos on all different aspects of what we do. And I started to throw stuff up and then I started to look at the analytics and go, huh, these are not the, the, the videos that are doing really well are the videos I didn't think would be doing really well. And so I didn't even create a ton of those videos uh, because of it. I created a whole bunch of other videos on different topics and so forth that apparently aren't, you know, even getting, you know, watched a lot. They, you know, the people that are on my channel, they want something a little bit different. Um, and I wouldn't know that. I would just be popping all types of stuff up if I didn't look at my analytics and go, okay, well, this is what they want. I need to go and make more of these. Uh, this content, right? So you need to be able to look at, at analytics and make uh, decisions based off of that. Uh, number four is you may not know uh, if you're progressing. You know, there, there's really no measurement of success before the bank starts ringing, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is before you start making money in uh, in your online business, right? You don't know really what's working, what's not working, Right. Uh, unless you you have some you know real hard analytic uh, background where you can go back and look at those numbers, but even those are kind of subjective. And until 
you start getting results, you don't really know if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, right? I'm writing a blog and doing all this blogging, you know, maybe I have 50 different blog posts up and I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of, of traffic to it, but I haven't made a dime in any, you know, AdSense money. Uh, nobody is clicking on my, um, on my affiliate links. Uh, nobody has purchased my little mini course or, you know, anything of, of that. I'm not actually getting results, but does that actually mean that we're not progressing in that direction that we want, right? We, we you know, unfortunately, we don't know yet, all right, until we start seeing results. And it's kind of, you know, a, a dark side of, of things because we simply have no idea. Um, real quick, uh, give me one second. I just saw a couple of, of questions. <laughs> Salim is asking, biggest takeaways – uh, you had from living life as a monk. Uh, how have these principles helped you in business? Um, for those that don't know, first off, uh, I was a monk and technically still am a monk um, living in India, Nepal, and Tibet. Um, <laughs> good morning, Stacey. Thanks for being here. Uh, and Zenya and Vlada, thanks for being here. I uh, really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, but to answer your question, uh, biggest takeaways um, I had from living life as a monk and how these principles helped in business. Um, probably my biggest takeaway that applies to business is the ability to concentrate single-handedly on one thing. Uh, you know, as as a monk living uh, in the monasteries and so forth, I practiced a lot of meditation, and in that meditation, uh, in certain meditations that, that I would do, I would have to singly focus on one particular thing. And for like massively extended uh, periods of times, hours, sometimes days. Uh, and I think that really translated to business because I'm able to sit here and do just one thing and just pound it out until it gets done. I don't need something like Pomodoro timers where you know I work for 20 minutes or 45 minutes and then I take a 20 minute break. I don't need that, right? My, my mind is, is focused enough that I can focus on whatever it is that I'm doing and maintain that focus. Um, and I think that's one of the biggest things that uh, I took away from my time uh, living in the monasteries and in all my time uh, meditating and so forth that uh, I apply to business is that ability to focus um, and then also to maintain my course. You know, no matter what happens, you know, I, I continue to drive forward uh, to try and hit my goals. Even if it may take a little bit longer, you know, I, I you know, I very rarely get, uh, get disheartened or, or or depress on you know what it is I'm, that I'm doing because maybe I'm not seeing results that I want to see or anything like that. I don't care. I just keep moving forward. Um, so I guess you know I hope that answers your question. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Consult the blind guy saying coffee. So I will take some coffee. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, off topic. Uh, question uh do the monasteries allow outsiders to visit absolutely um and you you can always come in uh, to our monasteries and kind of you know tour around certain areas you can't go uh where like we sleep or anything like that uh but uh through the main halls and so forth yeah absolutely uh you you're allowed to come visit um there are certain times where when you're not such as you know if his holiness of Dalai Lama is coming in uh you know, for like a special occasion, maybe you wouldn't be able to, um, you know, cer certain times uh, and certain, you know, uh, reasons why, no, but generally speaking, absolutely. And in fact, uh, we used to invite uh, people like we had uh, an entire guest house built right next to our monastery. So visitors could come stay there uh, and uh, come uh, to uh, teachings and pujas and so forth uh, inside our monastery. So yeah um let's see all right so uh got, got to get through this uh kind of quickly because we have to to leave a little bit early uh, number five is the temptation to work all the time right 
I am 100%, you know, in this uh, situation. You know, I love what I do, my business so much that uh, the the temptation to just endlessly work is always there. Um, I always want to work. Like, you know, sometimes, not, not recently, but, you know, I used to go like on vacation and I had my laptop and I would want to to work you know i was always thinking about work and i had to learn how not to do that right if you want to be really successful at business you can't work all the time all right take it from someone that you know has been known to work you know 110 hour weeks right it it's going to cause problems other problems in your life not maybe in, in your business but in your personal relationships and so forth, like my wife and I, when I, when I was working just a absolute metric ton of time, you know, I had a lot of personal relationship issues. Um, and so, you know, it, it's something that we do, you know, we, we, we go from working nine to five uh, to having our own business. And, you know, we feel, you know, we, we kind of need to work all the time. There's always something else to be done, right? Um, but that, that's a problem is that there's always something else to be done. No matter how hard you work, no matter what you do, there's always something else to be done. And you don't want to be caught, you know, like you're sitting on the couch watching TV with your spouse and, you know, your laptop's kind of sitting there and you kind of open it up and start working. You, you don't want to do that, right? You, you, you want to give yourself hours. Let's say it's 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., right? Um, those are my hours. Uh, and between those times, those are the times that I work. Outside of that, no work. Um, and yeah, uh, you you have to you have to kind of control yourself. Uh, number six is not knowing how bad uh, about bad marketing tactics. Right. A lot of people when they first come into building online businesses, they get into these bad marketing tactics, such as you know uh, false scarcity. Uh, you know, oh, this course is only available for this amount of time and they pop a, you know, a pop up timer and all of this stuff. But in reality, it's not real, right? If I just go and sign in with an incognito window, that timer resets and all this stuff, right? That type of stuff is kind of morally gray. And I don't agree with that. And you shouldn't either. You know, all of that, those bad marketing tactics and, and manipulative, uh, persuasive tactics, persuasion is not so bad manipulative is right and a lot of marketers out there even the big marketers use a lot of these horrible horrible marketing tactics that i don't agree with uh, so that's number six number seven is uh fear of giving control to someone else i know a lot of entrepreneurs when they get into building a business they don't like to give up control right and take it from someone that literally landed himself in the hospital due to an anxiety attack, thinking it was a heart attack, literally passed out, uh, collapsed in a uh, Books A Million store, you know, chest was just clenched and it thought I was having a heart attack. Everybody else thought I had a heart attack. The, the EMTs thought I had a heart attack. Uh, rushed me to the hospital, it turned out to just be an anxiety attack. And uh, it was all from not wanting to give up control, right? Your business will not thrive. And I use that word, precisely thrive if you don't build a team right you have to build a team in order to be really successful you can grow you can start and grow your business by yourself but at some point in time you need to start giving up control over certain aspects of your business and a lot of entrepreneurs don't want to do this um, number eight is dealing with people that will literally and blatantly steal your content, right? Uh, and also trolls as well. You're gonna have very, very bad people that are going to find you. They will literally rip off everything you do, right? Uh, I actually, one of, uh, a person that I know uh, took my sales letter. I had a brilliant sales letter and they literally just copied and pasted it and just put their uh, product in, in the spaces where I talked about my product, right? They just literally changed the name, changed a couple of pictures and literally left it word for word, right? You will have people that do this 
and you're going to have to be able to deal with it, right? It is a dark side to what we do and that there's so many scammers and charlatans out there that they will literally just take from you. And then, of course, you have to deal with trolls. You know, people like, you know, I create a YouTube channel and they'll just start trolling, you know, uh, every single video that I do, you know, putting, uh, you know, down, uh, you know, thumbs downs and uh, like, you know, comments in the chat that are like horrible, calling me a scammer, this and that. Uh, you know, I actually had, when I did a video with Nick Nimmin, an interview with Nick Nimmin, uh, I had some, you know, person writing all this horrible stuff that I was a scammer and, you know, you, you, uh, you know, talking actually to Nick saying that, uh, he shouldn't have been on my show because I'm a scammer and, you know, I have all these scammy websites and everything. And like, I confronted the person, I was like, you know, could you tell me like why you think I'm a scammer? What scammy websites, you know, am I using uh, and all this stuff? And it actually came down to the fact that because I used affiliate links, I must be a scammer, right? And these affiliate links were to things like ClickFunnels or lead pages or, you know, Thinkific, you know, legitimate good uh, software and businesses that they hadn't checked out yet. Apparently, I was a scammer. And this guy, like, he just trolled me, like, insanely. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Uh, number nine, uh, and the last one, is not being able to accomplish everything. Like I said earlier, you're going to have things that you never get, you never finish, you never accomplish, you know? Uh, there's always something behind the corner, right? You get this one project done, and you're like, oh, if I can only get this project done, I'll be done, and everything will be great, and then that project gets finished, and then, oh, man, I've got this other project around the corner. There's always something else, right? And you, <laughs> then you have a lot of same poor thing, Kipik, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, there's always something else to be done. Um, and so you're going to have to deal with that, right? It is a dark side because there, there's always stuff there. There's always stuff. You're never going to be finished. You could create a site. You know, let's say you do affiliate marketing and you create a site that is a maybe an affiliate marketing review site where you're reviewing vacuum cleaners, right? Well, there's always that next vacuum cleaner that you could do a review on. That could possibly get you um, a you know another commission. Or let's say your your thing is all about road you know, microphones, right? Road shotgun microphones, very, very specific, right? And you, you, you finish the site and you put up every single road video microphone that, that they have shotgun microphone and you, you know, take a few days off and then all of a sudden, boom, they come out with another version. Guess what you have to do now? You have to go get it, do a review of it and so forth. There's always something else to be done, right? And some people would think that that's, you know, kind of the dark side of it is that, we're never finished, right? And as entrepreneurs, personally, I don't ever want to be finished, right? I know that there's always something else to be done. Uh, and I'm okay with that. Uh, and I like that because I like the game. It's not, a, for me, it's not about the money, right? It's about the game of doing this, right? Uh, and, you know, how many people can I help out, right? Uh, how many reviews can I do? How many videos can I do? Like, it's, it's just a game for me. Uh, and I love that. And you have to be okay with that. So those are the nine, uh, you know, dark sides of, uh, of building an online business, building passive income online, you know, uh, building any business really, uh, that, uh, has been on my mind lately that I just wanted to talk about. So, uh, real quick, I only have a few more minutes, uh, before I have to go. I have a jujitsu class that I got to go do. Uh, if you have any questions, please throw them in the chat. I will try to answer them as quickly as possible. Uh, and type the word in question first, all in caps. That way I'm able to uh, get to it to find it uh, really, really quickly. So let me just scroll through here, see if I missed uh, any. Uh, da -da. Yeah, really good point, Zenya. Uh, Zenya says, yep, there's always something else to be done. You have to learn how to stop thinking about work. And that's really hard. It is for me anyway. Really, really hard for me. Like I could be having the best time, uh, and somehow still be thinking about work. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see, not seeing any other questions here. Uh, 
Let's see, let's see. Good little blind guy is saying, uh, one of my cousins actually stole one of my Facebook business pages uh, business because I made her admin and she removed and blocked me. Uh, and Facebook refuses to return my page to me so that they can confirm I am the original owner. Wow, dude. Yeah, no, I've seen that happen many times. Um, I'm so sorry that uh, it happened. Um, uh, Salim is asking, uh, please recap one through nine dark side of business. Number one, it can be really lonely. Uh, number two, there's no instruction manual. So we don't even know really where to start. Uh, number three, may not know what analytics you should be watching uh, to make those informed business decisions. Number four, may not know if you're progressing, right? Because there's no real measurement of success until you start making money, building a list and so forth. You don't really know if you're on the right track. Uh, number five, the temptation to work all the time, right? You love your business and you, you want to even work on vacation. Kind of a bad thing. Uh, not knowing about number six was not knowing about bad marketing tactic with, you know, fake timers and, and manipulative practices. Uh, number seven, fear of giving up control to someone else. Um, this is, you know, building a team and so forth. You know, you want to maintain that control because, oh, you can do it better than them. And maybe that's true, but you got to give up that control. Unfortunately, they may be you know, not as good as you right now, but if you teach them a lot of the times, they can be much better than you in that one thing. That way you can concentrate on the things that you really need to concentrate on. Uh, number eight, people will steal your content and you will have trolls. Guaranteed, it's going to happen. And then number nine, not being able to accomplish everything because there's always something more to, to do. Uh, so that's the recap. Uh, just real quick, let me go scroll through here. Uh, and I'm not seeing any more questions. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I really, really appreciate you uh, being here. Uh, and just to recap real quick, if you do want to be part of my uh, beta course, uh, which is we're going to, oh, where, where did that go? Uh, which we are going to decide on uh, on Monday, the 31st, if you want your name on that list to get into that beta course and to... Uh, be in our membership. Everything's absolutely free, by the way. Uh, go ahead, go to thecashflowarmy.com. Join my free community, The Cashflow Army, and send me a private message. This is the only way to get in. If you don't send me a private message in my community, you will not be on that list, right? Don't message me on Slack telling me that you want to be you know, in the community. Don't send me an email. It has to be through my community, all right? Uh, but go there, uh, private message me, letting me know that you want to be part of the beta test and I will add your list, uh, I will add your name to the list. All right, guys? So that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. So take care. Peace.